Here are six fitness tools that I wish I knew in my 20s. The first thing that I wish I knew was how breathing can really improve your recovery. And this is in between sets, but also once you've finished your workout as a cool down. Now we know the physiology of breathing, that when you breathe in, your heart rate goes up. When you breathe out, your heart rate goes down. But actually you can use this to influence how quickly you recover in between sets, but also to help you calm down and cool down after you've finished your workout. Now, one way you can use this to control your breathing is the physiologic side. So when you take a big breath in, you then take a second breath in through your nose and then take a big breath out. And essentially, this forces your parasympathetic nervous system to fire, so it brings down your heart rate and eventually sets your body up to recover. And doing a few of these physiological sighs in between sets when I finished, I've noticed that really helps me recover and prepares me for my next set. With kids, I often end up training quite late at night. And what used to happen to me before I started doing this is when I got back from the gym, I was too wired and I'd often find difficulty sleeping. Ever since I've started incorporating this into my workouts, what I find is that doing three to five minutes at the end of my workout really helps me to calm down and it's made sleeping so much easier for me. The second thing is taking recovery between sets when I'm doing weight training. I used to, because I was so tight on time, stick to 30 seconds, occasionally going up to 45 seconds if it was really difficult. This meant that, to be honest, my recovery time in between sets was suboptimal. So I wasn't able to push myself in the way I should have been able to. Now I give myself sometimes up to five minutes, but normally around the three minute mark. And I find that that makes my next set so much better. It also gives me time to do those physiological size between each set. One of the biggest things I've learned to incorporate is proper programming for strength training. I now actually make a program of around 12 weeks at a time and I have a set goal to achieve by the end of those 12 weeks. Right now I'm doing a low repetition workout for the next 12 weeks and the primary goal here is to get stronger. But the next thing that I wish I knew is variety in programming. I used to just lift weights and do nothing else. And really when you're trying to optimize your health, you can't just stick to weight training. You need to tackle different facets, your strength training, flexibility training, your balance. I think that's the best way to approach your training and to be more open to other facets of physical health. Now, one other thing that I've incorporated is doing more zone two cardio. Now zone two cardio, you can do without having to go to the gym. You can do it with, and fit it into your daily life and your daily routine. So for example, if you're going for a walk, the idea is to walk at a pace where if you were to begin to push yourself, you'd start breathing heavy, but you're just, you're just before that point. Some people will use fitness trackers and use that actually to calculate your zone two cardio, but I find that the easiest way of doing this is just when you're walking somewhere either to work or from work, you incorporate a pace of walking where you're just at the verge of being out of breath if you were to really push yourself. Now I've taken inspiration from Professor Huberman, a professor in neuroscience and ophthalmology at Stanford. He's got a great podcast called Huberman Labs where he talks about some of these tools. The next one is exercise snacks. I normally do this when I feel that like I've not used my legs enough during that day. I feel like I just haven't been as active as I wanted to. So this is really good when I'm on call or doing long shifts. And essentially this will be like a short specified period of time. So 60 seconds and I'll just do some wall squats, hold it for 60 seconds, that's done. And if I get another chance, I'll do some more or I'll run up some stairs next time I need to go use some stairs instead of taking the elevator. These are the kind of things that I can incorporate into like daily working. I haven't been able to be as active as I wanted to. So these short exercise snacks, I feel like are a great way of just um, getting that extra bit of exercise in. I feel like I haven't managed to get any that day. The last one is music. I use an old school iPod that has the same set of tracks on. I know the entire playlist will run for about 19 minutes. It's the only thing I listen to. I don't take my phone to the gym. I know how much I've spent depending on how much of the playlist I've listened to. Essentially, this helps me focus. And because I only listen to this place at the gym, when I put it on, I know that it's gym time and it gets me ready to go. That's it. I hope you liked this video.